And overall, just, you know, as a hardcore fan, I'm going back in time, just looking at some of the great fights that you trained, you know, uh, you know, Pernell Whitaker and things like that. Do you see any guys now that have those similarities of having a pound-for-pound -pound trait like a Crawford or Arrow or Lomachenko? Did any of those guys kind of give you that feeling back in the day when you were... No, you know, I mean, a guy like Pernell Whitaker, man, he was, he was special. You know, he was a one-of-a-kind. God only made one, and that was him. And you know, you could duplicate, you could do whatever, but it would never, it never be another Pernell Whitaker ever. I just don't see it. And, and why is that? Is it just a God-gifted talent, or that's, it's just that's a, all it is? It's a God-gifted talent. Mm -hmm. You know, look, I mean, a lot of fighters have really, really good talent. You know, and a lot of people can't duplicate what they do. But Pernell Whitaker was special. You know, he was everything every fighter wanted to be and just couldn't couldn't do it. Do you, you think trainers like yourself can at least pass some of those traits or do you think a lot of fighters now are losing traits outside of your training that it just doesn't continue on from those, those great legacy well, type of fighters? I'll tell, tell you like this, man. A fighter has to have, he has to have it already. You know, it's nothing that you can give him. You know, I mean, you could you could show a, a fighter different things and make him do different things, but it's all natural talent. You know, with every fighter. You know, you know, fighters make themselves. You know, trainers don't make fighters. Fighters make themselves. Do you think any fighters would be able to at least compete with Pernell? And this just curious, <laughs> be able to maybe not win. But in your eyes, just have a good fight, a good show. Oh, yeah, man. And yeah. either the Arrows look, and Crawford's look, or the... Yeah, I, I think Crawford and Arrow will both give him a, a good fight. Mm -hmm. You know, I just don't see them winning that fight. Um, you know? Now, I know you trained a fighter across Floyd Mayweather. Many people probably didn't know that, but you were um, on the opposite side. Do you think anyone in this era would be able to compete with that version of Floyd Mayweather, the pretty boy Floyd that... Yeah, you, uh, you know, it would be tough, man. It really, really would be tough. Floyd has something special. Mm -hmm. And when you have something special, along with the confidence, you know, it's, it's tough to beat, man. It's, it's really hard to beat. And, but, you know, the, the world the ways of today, Errol Spence would really, really give uh, Floyd a good fight. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he, you know, he would have an opportunity to win. You know, so would Terrence Crawford also. He would have an opportunity. But, you know, but that opportunity is slim. Is, 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 is IQ, is it the X Factor that, that he just Yeah, I mean, you know, Floyd was such a, you know, Floyd was a thinker in the ring, mm -hmm. you know. And, and he, just, he just knew what was coming at him. He knew how to get away from it. You know, as very few people got a clean sh shot on Floyd. Mm -hmm. You know, you can name a couple like Shane Mosley. Mm -hmm. Shane got a good shot on Floyd. Mm -hmm. And a couple other guys. But you may get that one shot, but that's all you're going to get. And then my last question, you being a former fighter mm -hmm. and fighting uh, other champions, do you ever just sometimes look back and get an itch <laughs> and, you know, like, oh, man, I missed this, or no, I enjoy <laughs> the See, trainer life? You know, the thing about me is, a lot of fighters, once they retired, they came back. Yep. I quit. <laughs> and you can't come back from a quit. Awesome. Look, I appreciate the time. I'm really excited to see the fight with you and all your fighters, Guillermo, Jamal, as well as F.A. Wish you the best in a healthy training camp for everyone. Have a safe flight.